I have removed the upper Schrader valves uh, using that very same tool that I made from the Briggs carburetor bolt. And the valve loosened, again just another Schrader valve type stem. But I couldn't get the damn stupid thing out because of an O-ring in each case that I had to kind of prod out with a pick. And then uh, once I picked it out, I was able to just apply a little compressed air and blow the valve out. Obviously, the safety glass is on, pointed away from your face. And I'm just going to use some compressed air to purge the tanks a little. Now, I might be safe to go ahead and cut these. I'm not going to do that. You can call me a little bit paranoid or whatever. I don't like blowing my ass off if there's any residual propane cast uh, in there. You know, you could be in for an interesting experience. Uh, so as infuriating as it's going to be doing it from a little tiny hole, I'm going to fill both of these cylinders with water. And I'm just going to hold the hose to the top and just uh, keep having at it until water starts blowing out where the relief valve was. Both of these cylinders are now completely full of water, right up to the top. So I know that any remaining propane gas has been completely dispelled. There's not a trace of it left in the cylinders, and I now feel confident that I can cut and drill these as I need to suit my purposes without blowing my ass to kingdom come. Yay! Okay, so I think I lost the record on that damn camera. Uh, so I used an inch and a quarter hole saw bit and even with the water still in it because it made me feel better um, I just went ahead and uh, I drilled an exhaust outlet on this um, if I need to make it a little bit better shouldn't be too hard to do metal gauge is probably 20 22 I can weld on it with my machine and it won't be too hard to cut so remember, if you're going to use a cylinder that contained an explosive gas for anything other than its intended purposes, uh, number one, if you're not confident and competent in what you're doing, just, just simply don't do it. I don't want to see anybody blow their asses off. Um, and make sure you go through every step imaginable, even if it seems silly, to expel any traces of the explosive gas. Um, so. Step one would be to off-gas it as best as you can. Uh, in my case, I just used a torch head on it, lit it until it extinguished itself while it was sitting there on the table and I was watching it. Don't leave it unattended. Uh, and then I pushed down on the relief valve. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I pushed down on the tank valve um, until it off-gassed a little bit more. And then I made that little tool, hang on from a Briggs carburetor bolt and I just slotted it with my grinder. It's the right diameter, it's a beautiful thing. And I unscrewed the relief valve and then I unscrewed the main tank valve and shook out whatever remaining propane was there. And then I filled it to the top with water from a garden hose to dispel any remaining gas. And just to make myself feel that much better, I actually drilled out the exhaust outlet while it was still full of water. You know, let's have some fun, let's create some stuff, let's make some neat shit. Let's not die in the process. Nothing kills a good time faster than your trip to the ER. Anyways, that's your public service announcement. We're going to get back to the fabricating of the exhaust shortly. Okay, so the next thing I've done here is I dug through my scrap pile until I found some steel tube of a diameter that I liked. And this is, uh, this is about an inch and a half. Um, and it's a little bit too big to fit in the hole that I drilled. Not by much. So I just put it on there and I traced it. And I'm just going to... Uh, using tin snips to uh, cut it out and uh, make it so that it'll slide in hopefully without too much effort and voila she's trimmed out in the section of tubing that I wish to use it's a tight squeeze which is good we don't want too much of a gap the metal's fairly thin so welding it's going to be you know difficult enough and uh, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do there. Now I'm going to temporarily trim this tubing down to a more workable length so that I don't have, you know, 
five feet of tubing sticking out of the muffler that I'm trying to work on, but I'm not going to trim it down to its final length until I'm actually ready to uh, put it in place. Uh, because of the fact that, you know, heights and lengths and all that stuff are kind of yet to be determined, one thing I am going to do is I'm just going to make a mark approximately where it leaves the cylinder. I'm going to need that as a future reference for its internal length. Okay, so here's the situation with the pipe. This is the section that goes inside the canister. Um, I've blown all the paint off with a wire wheel so you can't see the original mark, but I did mark uh, where the top of the canister was, like where it came out of the canister, and you saw that already. Uh, and then what I did is, uh, you know, I've seen these done before where you drill a whole whack of holes in the pipe. Now, sure enough, you can do that. Um, don't think I've got the patience for it. Um, I don't see the point. It, it could take a lot of time and a lot of effort to drill a bazillion holes in there. Um, I've done this method before with good results. And what I did is I took my tape measure and I marked off approximately every half inch and stopped short of the mark where it exits the can. And I just used my grinder and slotted on those marks about a third of the way through the pipe all the way along and then I rolled the pipe over and I did the opposite side so basically that's what it looks like in profile right and then that is where the exhaust gases are going to go through from the canister and into the pipe it's now uh, just a matter of sliding this pipe into the cylinder until it varies right and that's uh, that's all the way down to the bottom and then tack, up, tack welding it in which I did on this one over here. As you can see, nothing particularly fancy, just three tack welds equally around to hold it in place. 